it's not UDC's fault that we're starting late. They were here at 7 o'clock this morning. We're ready to go for I'm Jan Fox, and for 20 years, I stood on street corners in D.C. working for WUSA Channel 9. I don't know exactly how long, how I could last that long, but I just kept putting one foot in front of the other. And I was telling somebody earlier that I know this city by its back alleys and its bakeries. So I think when it was time for me to retire, I was glad I was away from the bakeries. But it's great to be here this morning. This building is named for David A. Clark. Raise your hand if you remember him. He was uh, chairman of our city council, a great advocate for this city. I remember that I was standing over in Adams Morgan in the early 90s at the time of the riots. And I was standing by Jim Kaiser, a Channel 4 photographer. Yes, we're friends on street corners. And so a big rock came out of nowhere, hit him in the head, a gigantic gash, blood gushed, and he dropped, just dropped. And I rushed to a police officer and said, we need help. Can we get an ambulance for him? He said, oh, no, 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 ma'am. They're burning up our cars. We can't get an ambulance in here. You've got to be kidding. And I saw a gentleman standing beside me who turned. And without batting an eye, he knelt down, picked that guy up, and dragged him to safety. And it was David A. Clark. So I know him not only as a brilliant mind. I know him, knew him as a helping hand. I also think of him as having been a forward thinker. And that's what you are. And that's why I'm so glad you get to honor him in this building today. There have been a lot of previous hosts for this event. One is Rita Cosby. She's an author and anchor of Fox News. Another one was Maribel Aber, the former president of NASDAQ. I say, keep going, keep going, keep going. Then a CNN correspondent and a Good Morning Philadelphia anchor and even an actress, Dee Wallace. So all of them are very experienced in communications, as you can tell, and they're as diverse as the people in this room. But they have a common understanding of what we're all about, and they had a great time being involved in this project, and so do I. Let me tell you just a little bit about WGES. Since 2008, it's taken place every year, right here in the, in the district or in the United States and other cities, and it's attracted people and organizations from all over this country, and as you will soon see, from around the world. WGS is always invited and hosted by a city or a state, or as in this case, an academic institution, and WGES serves as a world stage. That's not a cliche. It serves as a world stage bringing together a multiple, multiple discipline audience, including government agencies, and you will soon see all of their leadership, industry, academia, innovators, and of course investors, all for the purpose of education and sharing information in this day and age we call it old-fashioned networking. From forums in 2012 in D.C. and this one here today at UDC, to full three-day conferences at convention centers, WGES works in collaboration with organization, chambers of commerce, economic development, and nonprofit organizations to provide a platform for education and that information exchange that I spoke about, all on the subject of implementation of sustainability efforts. The WGES attracts some of the best minds, you are they, the top decision makers and thought leaders who are seeking energy usage saving solutions or looking to increase economic development through the use of sustainable technologies and products. I remember doing a story about one of the first buildings that ever decided to think, even think, about going green in the district. And I would say, thanks to many of you, look how far we've come today. As I said, this program is a rare opportunity to meet some of the real game changers in this industry. And you'll see the most innovative and advanced technologies to meet those demands. Today you will find out firsthand about opportunities in this seven trillion dollar space. That's trillion. It's called an economic implicator, a job creator, and the vantage point for a healthier community. So today you'll meet and hear from the experts who will identify actual case studies. Their latest programs tell you all about the opportunities. 
especially for those students in the audience looking for jobs in this industry. Raise your hand if you're a student. We appreciate you. We thank you for being here today. Just be sure to take note that the career paths of the experts that you will see on the stage and the ones that you'll meet later in the program led them directly to this discipline. For many of them, it wasn't around. It wasn't even an idea in their foggiest imaginations when they first started their career paths but that led them here. Lots of people to thank. WGES wants to thank the District of Columbia, the host ambassadors, all of today's presenters, the partners and the sponsors. You'll see the logos up on the screen. We need to give them a hand. And we especially want to thank the University of the District of Columbia for serving as host of this year's 2012 2015 WGES Washington, D.C. Forum. In particular, we have great gratitude to UDC Causes and the UDC School of Laws faculty and staff. Isn't this an incredible facility they provided for us? Even better. We want to also thank all the volunteers for their support today and throughout the entire planning process. Thank you to the host ambassadors, the partners, the speakers, the staff, and all those who work behind the scenes every single day to make something like this possible. Let's also acknowledge the visionary behind the WGES, Professor Robert Gallagher. <laughs> they know you well. He is one of the main figures who oversees the WGES programs. He's an educator who currently serves as an adjunct professor at another major university and as an advisor to many other universities and organizations. His passion for the mission of the WGES, combined with his success as a successful entrepreneur, a dedicated educator, and an advocate for sustainable energy, have put him at the forefront in the respect of all of the eyes of his colleagues, as we just saw by that applause. This is the very reason you see many top experts from multiple disciplines here together today, because of Robert Gallagher. We might not ordinarily be in the same room exchanging ideas if it hadn't been for him. His commitment to the environment as a stimulus for economic development is genuine and undeniable. 30 years in education and public service is admirable. The WGES highlights those who've made a difference. Those who've been recognized have been Drexel University for its Smart House program, the City of Philadelphia for its Greenwork Sustainable Program, accepted by the mayor. The, count, the country of Brazil, accepted by its ambassador and presented for its sustainable program in Rio de Janeiro. In 2012, the District of Columbia was recognized for its sustainable DC plan and received the NOVA, accepted by then Mayor Gray. Dow has been recognized with the NOVA Award, a recognition for innovation, also went to extreme energy solutions. Professor Gallagher, would you please come up to recognize our NOVA recipient? Professor Gallagher. 